Welcome back. So this is going to be part one of the second video that we're submitting this week. And the first thing we're going to do is take the test for chapter seven. I know that you do not have a test in hand, so I'm going to do it the best way I know how. And we're, I'm going to read it. I have questions written on the board, so I'm hoping that you can see those. And, oops, and that uh, we, we can uh, do this so that you'll at least have the practice of taking the test. I just moved my table up closer. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is listen to the tape one time. Then we're going to read the questions, listen to the tape again. You're going to answer the questions. Listening. Hey, Rob. You know, I'm thinking about buying a computer. It could help the kids with their homework. They've been asking for one, and I could use it too. How much do computers cost? Can we afford it? Well, used computers cost about $300. $300. And a printer? How much is a used printer? Uh, about 100. What about a new computer? I think a new computer and a new printer cost about $800. You know, we can afford to pay cash for a used computer and printer, but I'm worried about spending $800 for new ones. We'd have to buy them on credit. I know, but I prefer a new computer and printer. I know we have enough money in our savings account, so if we use a credit card, Pay it off immediately, there'll be no problem. Right. So zero financing, zero interest, zero debt. I like that. <laughs> and I'm really excited about getting online with my family. I wonder how much that costs. I think it's about $30 a month. Hey, let's worry about that later. One thing at a time. Great. Let's go tell the kids. So here are the questions that you're, you're going to be looking for the answer listening the next time. So the first question is, what is their relationship? Are they parent and child, husband and wife, brother and sister? Number one. So you're going to have one, two, and three listed in your notebook. Number two, why do they want a computer? A, to pay their bills, B, to do research, or C, to help the kids with homework. Question number three, which way will they pay? A, with a credit card, B, with cash, or C, So these are the questions that you're going to be listening for. Unit 7, Test, Section A, Listening. Hey, Rob. You know, I'm thinking about buying a computer. It could help the kids with their homework. They've been asking for one, but I can use it too. How much do computers cost? Can we afford it? Well, used computers cost about $300. $300. And a printer? How much is a used printer? Uh, about $100. What about a new computer? I think a new computer and a new printer cost about $800. You know, we can afford to pay cash for a used computer and printer. But I'm worried about spending $800 for new ones. We'd have to buy them on credit. I know, but I prefer a new computer and printer. I know we have enough money in our savings account, so if we use a credit card and pay it off immediately, there'll be no problem. Right. So zero financing, zero interest, zero debt. 
I like that. And I'm really excited about getting online with my family. I wonder how much that costs. I think it's about $30 a month. Hey, let's worry about that later. One thing at a time. Great. Let's go tell the kids. you should be able to answer this question. Number one, everyone, what is their relationship? All right, husband and wife. Two, why do they want a computer? To pay their bills, to do research, or to help the kids with help? That's right. Question number three, which way will they pay? A, with a credit card, B, with cash, or C, with a check? That's right. They decided to pay with a credit card. And I have another question for you. Why did they decide to pay with a credit card? That's right, because they have enough money in their checking account and in their saving or in their savings. So let's um, create the answers using a complete sentence. What is their relationship? Answer, they are husband and wife. What is it? They are husband and wife. Number two, why do they want a computer? They want a computer to help the kids with homework. What is it? They want a computer to help the kids with homework. Number three, which way will they pay? They will pay with a credit card. What is it? They will pay with a credit card. Okay, so. Now we're going to go to the next part of the test, uh, which is numbers and money. So I want you to listen again because we're going to ask about the cost of everything that they're talking about. Unit 7, Test, Section A, Listening. Hey, Rob. You know, I'm thinking about buying a computer. It could help the kids with their homework. They've been asking for one. And I can use it too. How much do computers cost? Can you afford it? Well, used computers cost about three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. And a printer? How much is a used printer? Uh, about one hundred. Mm -hmm. What about a new computer? I think a new computer and a new printer cost about eight hundred dollars. No. Whoops. I can afford to pay cash for a used computer and printer, but I'm worried about spending $800 for new ones. You'd have to buy them on credit. I know, but I prefer a new computer and printer. I know we have enough money in our savings account, so if we use the credit card and pay it off immediately, there'll be no problem. Right. So zero financing, zero interest, zero debt. I like that. And I'm really excited about getting online with my family. I wonder how much that costs. I think it's about $30 a month. Hey, let's worry about that later. One day at a time. Great. Let's go tell the kids. Okay. I got a little ahead of myself here. I'm putting down the answers. <laughs> Here we have, uh, listen again and complete the chart. Number one, what is the cost of a used computer? Okay, using a complete sentence, please. The cost of a used computer is $300. What is it? The cost of a used computer is $300. Number two, what is the cost of a used printer? That's right, it was 100. How will you answer that using a complete sentence? The cost of a used printer is $100. What is it? 
the cost of a used printer is $100. Number three, what is the cost of a new computer and printer? That's right. The cost of a new computer and printer is $800. So the complete sentence is, the cost of a new computer is $800. What is it? The cost of a new computer is $800. Number four, how much would they have to finance? That's right, zero. They would not have to finance anything. Answer, they would not have to finance anything. Number five, how much debt would they have? That's right, zero. They would have zero debt. What is the answer? They would have zero debt. Number six, what is the cost of online service? That's right, it's $30. The cost of online service is $30. What is it? The cost of online service is $30. Good. So now we're going to do um, another small grammar uh, exercise, and I'd like you to number from one to five. Now that you've done that, these are the words that we're going to be using. Lend, get, start, pay, and buy. By the way, who does the lending? The one who gives or the one who's receiving the money? That's right. The one who gives the money is called the lender. And what do we call the person who receives the money? That's right, the borrower. So you're going to add a suffix to each of these to create a gerund. The first one, I'm worried about him the money. I'm worried about, please repeat, I'm worried about lending him the money. That's right, a gerund uses has ing. Number two, Dolores is afraid of, what is it? Dolores is afraid of, the gerund is, G-E-T double I-N-G, G-E-T-T-I-N-G. Great. Number three, Gregory is excited about good. Gregory is excited about starting his new job. What is it? Gregory is excited about starting his new job. Number four, we're not happy about. And, uh, oh, I forgot three. Okay, let's keep, let's go back to three. Oh, I see what I did. Uh, number three, Gregory is excited about starting. Gregory is excited about starting his new job, ING. Next, we're not happy about that's right, paying. We're not happy about paying interest on our credit card balance. Number five, I'm interested in buying, B-U-Y-I-N-G. So these are all gerunds. Worried, two verbs, worried, lending, afraid of, getting, excited about, starting, not happy about paying, not am interested in buying. So here we 
are with the two verbs and the combination using a gerund. So in the next section, um, what I would like us to do is to go over some new vocabulary to use in a story. And since this is the end of chapter seven and we're getting into eight again, I'm going to be reading a story. And I thought we would have new vocabulary from the story. First word. Tumble down. <laughs> so it was a tumble down shack. What do you think it might mean? A fabulous shack? A dilapidated shack? Something that's falling apart? Or something that's beautifully built? That's right. So tumble down means that it is. falling apart. Next. This word is French. It's courtier. Anybody have an idea? Well, when you think of courtier, what other word do you think of? That's right, court. And you can either think about court of law, or you could think about a king's court. So if it's not related to the law, then it's relating to a palace and a king. So a king has court courtiers around him. And what do people around a king usually do? Give him they give him advice. So they are called advisors. Next word, sack. Actually, that's kind of a Southern expression. Instead of saying bag, down south, when I first came down south, everybody would say, just put it in a sack. So a sack is a bag, and it's usually made out of cloth. Okay, so you have a sack of potatoes, sack of rice. Next one. Snatched. What is it? Snatch, snatched. It's a verb. Anybody know what it means? It means to grab quickly. The next one, omelet. Anybody know what an omelet is? That you do. What's the first word that comes to your mind? That's right. Eggs. So an omelet is eggs added to a pan, but you do not stir them. Because if you stir them, then you're making scrambled eggs. But if you don't stir them, then it stays firm and it's called an omelet. Let's review. Tumble down, falling apart. Courtier, advisors to the king. Sack, cloth bag. Snatched, grab quickly. Omelet, beaten eggs, cooked on the stove, don't stir them. Right? Okay, one more time. Tumble down, falling apart. Cordier, 
advisors to the king. Sack, a bag of, made out of cloth. Snatched, quickly grab. Omelet, eggs. Okay, that's it. See you next time.